Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom, a weekly devotion following the F260 Bible reading plan. This week is week 15 of the study, which means we will be in the book of 1 Samuel. And today we're going to look at 1 Samuel chapter 16. Well, at this point, the people have chosen for themselves a king, and they chose Saul, and um, Saul has been very disobedient at Gilgal, and so the Lord tells Samuel that he is going to anoint a new king. We see in verse 1, the Lord said to Samuel, How long are you going to mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, because I have selected for myself a king from his sons. So we have something that's going on here, right? The people selected for themselves Saul. But see, God has selected for himself a king. And so that's who we're going to see here. There's a big difference. So he is obedient. He goes to Bethlehem at first. Samuel is afraid, but he follows the Lord's command. So he goes to the house of Jesse, and as directed, he goes to find a king. He's going to find him from the sons of Jesse. We see he starts in verse 6. It says, When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and said, Certainly the Lord's anointed one is here. So looking through his own eyes, maybe even the eyes of the world, the eyes of man, just like before, he saw him and and saw that this must be the king. He looks like he's the one who's going to be the king. That's not what happens. Verse 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or his stature, because I have rejected him. Humans do not see what the Lord sees, for humans see what is visible, but the Lord sees the heart. So God tells them that that humans, they they don't see how he sees. God, he looks at the heart. So he looks at the sons, right? But but, but the Lord um, is the one who's going to choose them. And so we see that here. Jesse called Abinadab and presented him to Samuel. The Lord hasn't chosen this one either, Samuel said. Then Jesse printed presented Shema, but Samuel said, The Lord hasn't chosen this one either. After Jesse presented seven of his sons to him, Jesse, Samuel told Jesse, The Lord hasn't chosen any of these. Samuel asked him, Are these all the sons you have? He says, There, there is still the youngest, he answered, but right now he's tending the, the sheep. Samuel told Jesse, Send for him. We won't sit down until, to eat until he gets there. So all of these ones that he's going by, he's being obedient to the Lord. He's trying not to look based off what he would view as the right king, but he's trusting God. Because remember, God doesn't see how we see and tells him to go and get his son. This is where we see the Lord choosing for himself a king. Verse 12, so Jesse sent for him. He had beautiful eyes and a healthy, handsome appearance. Then the Lord said, Anoint him, for he is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully on David from that day forward. So the Lord chose for himself a king. And he wasn't the one that anyone who would expect. Now, he does have a beautiful appearance here, but he's weaker. Obviously, he's unlikely. In some ways, maybe even the outcast. We know that even the Lord Jesus, he was nothing to look at, but he was our Savior. He may not have been the ones that you know, the Israel expected, but he was the one who saves us from our sin. But even more here, when we look at that, when we, we consider David as king, and even against his being chosen as king over his brothers, and David as opposed to Saul, you know, the big difference is that the, the, the Israel was seeing the world through their own eyes, not as the Lord does. And really, we can often do that. You know, we see things through our own eyes and try to take things into our own understanding to take control of our circumstances. But see, we must not trust in our wisdom. And God's ways are not our ways. His, his thoughts are not our thoughts. And so some things, sometimes things don't make under, under, like we can't understand why He's called us to do a certain thing. However, we know that the God always has a plan. And He is in control of all things. And His wisdom is so much greater than ours. And so whatever circumstance you're facing this week, today, as we go on, remember not to trust in your own understanding. Don't look at your situation through the eyes of the world. Try your best to look at it through God's eyes and what He has called us to and what He has revealed us to. 
in His Word. Well, I hope that you'll join us next week for our Wednesday Wisdom Devotion. You can join along with us uh, in the Bible reading plan. There'll be a link to the F260 plan uh, in the description, in the link there. Also a note about Here Journals, how you can go deeper. I also hope that you will see us on Sunday for worship. Um, You can either join us online or in person. We would love to have you. Well, thank you so much for joining, and I hope that you have a blessed week.